Sometimes parenting will be hard. This is never more true than when a kid is in danger. If you ever suspect or know your kid or another kid is being harmed or causing harm, your quick response is so important. But what should you do and when? And under what circumstances? How do you know you're not overreacting or underreacting? Well, the good news is your local government, schools, and church probably already have some strategies in place. So if you're not sure what they are, ask. But in general, here's when you should report a dangerous situation. One, when a kid is harming themselves, eating disorders, cutting, burning, scratching, suicidal thoughts, drug or alcohol use, these are all ways kids may be harming or thinking about harming their own bodies. Look for physical signs and listen for any concerning comments, jokes, or questions kids might verbalize. Number two, when they're harming others, hitting, biting, bullying, online harassment, physical or emotional abuse, sexual harassment or abuse. Yes, even our own kids or other kids we love are capable of behaviors that go beyond typical childhood or adolescent conflict. And we need to confront it if we suspect it or hear about it. Number three, when they're being harmed, it might seem unlikely that your kids or kids you know could ever become victims of bullying, online harassment, grooming, physical or emotional abuse, sexual harassment or abuse, but statistically, it's very possible. The signs of abuse can vary though, so be on the lookout for anything that sounds dangerous, painful, or manipulative. As a community, it's our responsibility to do everything in our power to keep our kids safe. So please, be aware, be ready to act, and know how, where, and when to call in for reinforcement.